Hey buddies, what's up? Welcome back to another amazing episode of Drama Depot. So guys, in this amazing episode, we're going to discuss the real reason Austin Richard post changed his name to Post Malone. Are you guys excited? Let's get started. So keep up with me to the end, comment right below this video, subscribe if you still haven't, and turn on the post notification for more videos. Number six, the basketball player rumor. The first theory about how Post Malone became Post Malone is actually a rumor instead of a story that Post told himself. It has to do with the basketball player Carl Malone. Malone was, as stated by this specific theory, one of Post's biggest idols when he was growing up, possibly before he began getting into music. So basically, the theory was that he would merely merge his last name, put it in front of Malone from the basketball player and the rest appears to be history. Number five, random name generator theory. On the flip side of that, Post Malone has told a very inconsistent story about where he got his infamous stage name. In this different story, the origin of the name Post Malone came from a random name generator he came across online. He possibly added his last name beforehand in this theory as well to make his stage name incomparable to anybody else. But Malone, as stated in this story, came from an algorithm. Interestingly, the stage name is almost identical to one told by Childish Gambino. Childish Gambino says that he came up with his rap name by using a Wu-Tang Clan online name generator. Perhaps Post found out about this story and thought it would be the perfect way to come up with his own unique stage name, so he decided that he wanted to do the same thing. Who's to say, right? Number four, when exactly did he change his name? On July 4th, 1995, Post Malone was legally named Austin Richard Post. People called him by this birth name until he was in his teens. When he was a teen, he auditioned for a band called Crown the Empire and started taking music more seriously than he ever had before. He then decided to give himself a stage name to attract attention to his music. This is when he eventually became better known as Post Malone. Number three. So which theory is true? We think that both theories could very well be true somehow. It is true that Post Malone did indeed look up to Carl Malone growing up, so maybe it's not entirely difficult to believe that the random name generator created the blend of Post Malone, and since he looked up to Carl Malone so much, the name resonated with him a lot. Number two, what was his reasoning for choosing the name Post Malone? There are numerous theories as to why Post Malone chose the name Post Malone. One of the biggest theories is that he named himself Post Malone after his childhood hero. Another theory is that he used one of those name generator websites to create his legendary stage name. The next two list entries go a little more into depth about the two theories and how they came to be. Number one, other celebrity stage name stories. Post Malone's name origin is not entirely uncommon even though it may appear to be a bit unusual to choose a random name that will be attached to the artist for the rest of his professional career. For instance, Dr. Dre was allegedly influenced by Julius Dr. J. Irving, a basketball player who Andre Young, Dr. Dre as he would later be known as, looked up to. Also, Jay-Z was known as Jazzy when he was younger. He adopted the name Jay-Z out of respect for Jazz O, a Brooklyn MC who wound up giving Jay-Z the chance he needed to succeed. Another reason why the stage name Jay-Z came to be was that both subway lines J and Z run through Brooklyn, where he grew up. As you may come to notice, Post Malone is not the only one who has a unique stage name. In actuality, it's pretty safe to say that his name is fairly normal and not as out there as some of the other celebrity stage names you see today. This brings us to the end of our video. I hope you enjoyed it. Hit like if you did and don't forget to subscribe to our channel so that you don't miss any of our videos in the future. Also, watch the two videos that are on your screen now because I'm sure you'll love them. With that, I'll see you in the next video.